All right, class, a little bit of bad news today. You're not going to see my face, uh, which is actually, I don't know, actually, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I actually shaved. So, uh, but the reason that I'm not casting myself on this is because I want you to be able to see all of what's going on on here. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at Jamestown Online Adventure. I really like this activity. We would typically do this in class, get together in groups, uh, and s try to see who can create the best settlement or who can create the most successful colony. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we're going to read through this real quick, and then we'll get started. So, <clears throat> in 1606, some 105 adventurers set off from England to try and establish the first permanent English colony in the New World. They settled in what is now the state of Virginia and called their colony first James Fort and then Jamestown, in honor of James I, the King of England. The early years of the colony were nearly a total disaster. Almost half of the settlers died due to the poor choices in settlement location, man management of resources, and quarrels with the indigenous Powhatan Indians. You are the captain of the Jamestown colony. Can you do better than the real colonists? You will have a copy of the London Company's instructions to help guide you. Also, you can ask your fellow colonists and Native Americans for advice. Be careful, though, because some advice is better than others. Okay, so how are you going to be scored? After you make all your decisions, you will receive a report on the state of your colony based on these factors. Food. How well can you provide it for your colonists? Health. Can you keep your colonists from dying due to disease, starvation, and attacks? Wealth. Can you make yourself and your sponsors at the London Company rich from the discovery of gold and silver? And lastly, morale. Can you keep yourself in power by keeping everyone happy? All right. So, time to make history. You will get to excuse me. You will get to compare your colony to the historical Jamestown at the end by examining the now we know section. You can learn from the mistakes of history so you do not repeat them when you play again. Good luck and Godspeed. All right, so uh, as you see, it does require a Flash 7 or higher. I don't really know what that means, uh, but it says you can download it there. All right, let's start the adventure. I don't think you can do this. Uh-oh. Allow. I don't think you can do this on your phone. Uh, people have tried it in the past and haven't been able to do it. I don't know if you can do it now on your phone. I haven't tried. Um... So, yeah. All right, here we go. I guess I could have put my face here. It's okay. All right. So, we do have a little bit of sound, too. I don't know if you can hear it on your end, but I got it on mine. All right, so we'll go ahead and start the adventure. All right, so first thing we do is we figure out where we want to land. So, again, you can ask a colonist. We ask, we, You got to click and hold on it. So, Spain claims these lands before any other Europeans. If we land on the coast, we might get attacked by Spanish warships. We talked about that with uh, Roanoke, why it was important that they kind of get inland a little bit. We can also consult the charter. Come on. Uh, when it shall please God to send you to the coast of Virginia, you shall do your best endeavor, endeavor to find out a safe port. Oh, man, I feel like we've, I feel like we've already read this. <laughs> the uh, assignment I gave you yesterday was part of the instructions as to how to set up this colony. This is all, I'm going to click on this again. This is all um, part of that letter or the instructions that I gave you yesterday. I gave it to you in excerpts because some of it is kind of hard to read because just the, the way that language has changed in 400 plus years. Um, but again, these instructions are what they used to uh, settle this area. All right, so we're going to pick a place to land. All right. Um, Let's see, what did the colonist say? He said that Spain claims these lands before any other Europeans. If we land on the coast, we might get attacked by Spanish warships. That said, get to a river. So, I'm going to land right here. Yeah, I'm going to land right here. Bay Marsh. Okay? So, we got our, our ship. We are sailing. Hey, come on. There we go. Sailing down the river. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, we'll click continue. Oh, shoot. A Native American chief, Lord Powhatan, appears with several hundred warriors. He asks, what gives you the right to invade our land? What does the colonists say? Who are these strange people who don't look like us, talk like this, or worship the same God as us? Surely they can only be the evil spawn of the devil. I say attack. All right, well, 
you got to you got to worry about this guy a little bit. What should we do? Ask a native. We have lived here since the beginning of time. If you insist on staying here, you must be a good neighbor. What does the what does the charter say? In all your passages, you must have great care not to offend the naturals. If you can eschew it and employ some few of your company to trade with them for coin and all other victuals, if you have any. Okay. So this is why I didn't give you all of this because again, that uh, that's not how we speak. I did give you. Yeah, I, I gave you, I know, part of that. All right, anyways, anyways, you already read that. All right, so what do you think would be the best thing to do? Attack, offer to trade, ignore. Well, me personally, I don't think it's good to ignore your problems, so that takes that one out. Attack or offer to trade? Uh, well, uh, you could see, you might be able to see why attacking uh, might be an option, because, again, if you're, you know, if you've got, several hundred warriors surrounding you um you know sometimes some sometimes you know if, if you feel threatened you kind of gotta you gotta fight for your for your life um uh, but let's offer the trade let's see how that works submit decision all right what kind of structure do we want to build do we want to build a town a wood fort a small castle all right, so I'm going to stop asking the colonists, the natives, and consult the charter because I know what to do, and I want you guys to kind of have to go through this and figure it out on your own. Um, so just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of being a little different than I usually am, let's build a small castle. I like castles. I like castles. I always wanted to live in one. I do not live in one as we currently speak. All right, let's submit that decision. All right, which colonists will work? Only indentured servants and laymen. So indentured servants would be people that have agreed to come over to the New World to work for seven years, and then after those seven years, they are granted their freedom. So it's like uh, temporary slavery. And laymen, laymen being just like kind of your you know regular everyday dude, uh, or everyone, including gentlemen, must work. <laughs> All right. Uh. Let's just take the people that we've brought to work. Let's just see how that goes. All right, what do you want to search for? Given the size of your labor force, you can choose one activity. Click and drag the conus that activity to the left. All right, uh, man, this is difficult. So what should we do? Should we look for... Should we look for gold? Should we go hunting? Should we go fishing? Uh, let's see. I know we're going to plant some stuff. So... Hmm. We'll have some food. If we trade with the colonists, they probably have some food as well. We need meat. We need meat. We're going hunting. All right. Let's see. What we got here? Click and drag an item below and plant it in a field. All right. So we've got corn, wheat, tobacco, and sassafras. Sassafras is used more so like as a herbal remedy. But let's see. All right. Well, knowing what I know about Virginia... And North Carolina. I'm going to say we need to plant some tobacco. Because. I mean tobacco is king. In these parts. Especially back then. Uh, wheat. I just don't know what you're going to do with wheat. What are you going to make? You're going to make bread? You don't need bread. You don't need bread. Corn. Corn's easy to grow. And you can grow a lot of it. So let's do that. Uh, let's see. So. Food. We can't just survive on corn alone. So we're going hunting. Let's let's grow two things of tobacco. Because we need to make some money. Because we're not looking for gold either. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright. Boom. Here's the evaluation of your decisions. Alright, so let's see how we did. Your food rating. Fair. The colonists are very hungry. I don't know how that's fair, but it is what it is. Uh, you choose to ch you, uh, you chose to trade with the Indians in return from some European trinkets. They gave you several bushels of corn to add to your food supply. Oh man, we didn't even need to grow corn. You successfully hunted for wild game to add to your food supply. Heck yeah! You successfully planted a field of corn, which later yields a good amount of food for kind of all right. But they're still hungry. Corn and deer, deer corn. Hold on, that's not a bad idea. Place the corn out to hunt for deer. Huh? Anyways, uh, next. Your health rating. Poor. Your choice of a bay marsh leads to malaria epidemic and poisoning by brackish water. 
The small castle you, you chose to build provides good defense against attackers, but has poor sanitation, ventilation, and drainage, resulting in outbreaks of disease. Oh, dang. This is not good. This is not good. Your wealth rating, undefined. Ugh. Uh, trading with the Powhatan Indians provides you with a refined form of tobacco, which later becomes highly profitable which when sold in Europe. The stone castle you chose to build was very expensive. The tobacco you chose to plant grows well in the Virginia climate, as Sir Walter Raleigh always promised. Although King James declares tobacco a foul and noxious weed, your crop proves to be a lucrative product when sold to Europeans. All right, so it seems like we did pretty good, but the problem was we shouldn't have built that castle. <sighs> it's never going to get what I want. What I want. Lastly, your morale rating is fair. Your decision to seek peace and trade with the Powhatan Indians reduces the colonists' fears. The gentlemen were pleased that they did not have to dirty their hands uh, with work alongside the indentured servants and other low-class laborers. The colonists were hoping to strike it rich in Virginia and are upset that you didn't even search for gold. I'm going to be honest, man. This whole gentleman think they're too good to, to do any work. I don't know if we should have brought them. I don't know if we should have brought them. All right, so a couple things we can do. We can click on Now We Know. So I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to let you guys read this. Um, but this is comparing what you did to what the actual colonists at Jamestown did. Um, one thing I want you to, we'll go back to print this. One thing I want you to remember is that history is a study of you if you would have lived back then. His, the, the People look at history all wrong. They look at history and like, oh, these people were not as smart as we are today, not as, uh, you know, they're almost like they're completely different people. That's not the case whatsoever, whatsoever. Because you know, you've heard the term history repeats itself. History has a thematic, uh, feel to it. So there's certain themes that pop up. And if we don't know how to, ah, oh, dang, I don't want to print that off. I want to print, oh, dang. All right. Well, I think I messed up. All right. So what I want you to print off is your, like, how you did. Um, we're going to run through this again, I guess, because I want to show you what that looks like and how to print it off. Uh, start the adventure. All right. We're just going to do the same exact thing because I'm trying to make this quick. So you ain't got to go all the way through this with me again. Um, <clears throat> but what I was getting at, let me be real with you. Talk to you a little bit. So with, I like that music. That music gets me going. Uh, we offered to trade. All right, anyways, what I was getting at is that, um, again, history is... Oh, dang. I said everyone. Whoops. All right. Well, I'm going to do a little bit better on this one. Um, I probably did. I probably am going to do a little better. Uh, anyways, history is the study of yourself if you would have lived, you know, in any other time than you do right now. Um, that's the thing. Because history does have thematic... <laughs> Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm at home right now, and now my dogs are barking. All right, maybe I'm just not supposed to tell you this about what I think about history. All right, I'll stop. All right, anyways. Hey, dogs, chill, dude. Chill, bros. Hey, stop. I got three of them. They act wild. Hey, stop. Um, all right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to print off this right here, okay? I want you to print off this right here and then send that to me. That is your attendance for today. I want to see how you did because, again, this is about making decisions. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to click on print this. The easiest way to do it is to destination. You see where that says save to Google Drive. I want you to save it to Google Drive. Bam. And then all you're going to do is you are going to, uh, I guess, what's the best way to do this? Yeah, so... I'll just have where you uh, turn in that portion, okay? All right, so hopefully you've watched this entire video because you're kind of going to need it uh, in order to do this correctly. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and then tomorrow we're going to pick up on Jamestown Part 2 and look and see kind of how they do after those initial uh, that initial time that we talked about yesterday. All right, see you guys tomorrow.